Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Rahul. Today we are solving another lead code problem that is number of subarrays with odd sum. Actually, it is somewhat an easy one. Same time, we have to make it optimal. So, in this video, we will go through the problem statement in detail, various approaches that we can use in order to solve that one. And among those approaches why we are choosing this one we will discuss about that also then we will write one efficient java code and i will explain it line by line then we will discuss about the time and space complexity if you enjoy dsa explanations and efficient go coding solutions hit the like button and subscribe for more such videos so let's start here is our problem we have one integer array and we need to count the number of subarrays with um, whose sum is odd since the number of such subarrays can be large we have to return the result in modulo 10 raised to 9 plus 7 so just take this example i will just show you how it works so first of all just take which one? 1 3 5 okay 1 3 5 here the subarrays that can be made are 1 1 3 then 1 3 5 then 3 5 so we have 3 then 3 5 then 5 right in this one we have to get the sum so the sum will be 1, 4, 5 plus 3 plus 1, 9, 3, 8, 5. In this one, we have to take the subarrays with odd sums. So here 1, 9, 3, 5. Right. 1, 9, 3, 5. So this will use an output of 4. That's the count. So this is the thing we have to do it. Coding. Same thing for uh, others. 2, 4, 6 and uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's a large input. So it will go like something means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then again 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4. Like that. It will go. So I hope you understand this example what I meant. So now. Um, before jumping into code. Let's discuss the possible approach that we can use to solve this one. First of all is our traditional method that is brute force. In this one, we consider all subarrays using two nested loops, which compute their sum and count if the sum is odd. But when it comes to complexity analysis, it becomes big of n square, which means it will be inefficient for large arrays. Next, second one is prefix sum with nested loops here we maintain a prefix sum and find sum of each subarray in big of 1 however it is still requires checking subarrays checking all the subarrays which took big of n square complexity still inefficient for large inputs the third one that we are what we are going to use here is the optimized approach using prefix parity count 
here instead of maintaining sums we track odd and even prefix sum here the key observation is first of all a subarray sub sum is odd if odd count elements contribute to it and even prefix sum minus odd prefix sum result in an odd number we can solve this in big of n time using a single pass so why we choose this one as i already mentioned because of its um, efficiency it take only big of n time complexity second is single pass with minimum extra space third one it will handle large constraints well <coughs> so let's start our coding part first of all as you know we have to initialize the variable here we have the method num of subarray with one input array array so first of all we have to initialize the variable i will give type long because the output might be of large values count is equal to zero and prefix sum is equal to zero here the odd count tracks the number of prefix sum that are odd and prefix sum this one will keep track of the sum as we iterate now we have to iterate over the array for that we will use one for each loop in a in array here we have to keep updating the prefix sum as we traverse so prefix sum plus equal to a and we have to um, do means if prefix sum is odd we have to increase the count so odd count prefix sum mod 2 so once this done come out of the loop and we have to count the total odd subarray so Word count array dot length minus word count. So here this one counts even prefix sum, then we have to multiply it by add count, which gives the number of subarrays with an odd sum now come out of that here we have to return the answer since the count can be large we have to take modulo 10 raised to 9 plus 7 to prevent overflow right Return int odd count let's run it. Okay, sorry for that. Yes, it's working. So now let's discuss about the time and space complexity. So for this one, it takes big of n time complexity as we traverse the array once and 
takes constant space because we only use a few variables so it is big of one for the others the brute force it takes big of n square and uh, space complexity of big of one prefix sum same big of n square and big of one so why this one is efficient it avoids uh, recomputing sums for all subarrays and it will only track count of odd or even prefix sum is avoiding extra loops and as i already mentioned it works well for larger constraints up to 10 raised to 5 elements submit it yes it's working perfect so here we discuss the problem statement explore different approaches and we chose the best one implemented and explained the best and optimal java solution perform time and space complexity if you found this helpful give it a like share with share it with your friends and subscribe for more dsa and coding interview content let me know in comments if you have any doubts or want me to solve another problem thank you for watching and happy coding